Welcome to Stephanie Ox. Welcome to another episode of Rose Piss. Before we begin, do you know? Well, it's going to be a, pers- a personal opinion. I do believe that the Boston Celtics versus the Warriors will be a tight series. I have the Warriors winning in a seven game series. I do think that the offense and experience that the Warriors have will be too much for the Boston Celtics to handle in my opinion. With that being said, I do believe that whoever wins game one, the opposing team will win game two and three, and it's going to be tied 2-2. Two, two. And it go it will be tight from there. So it could go Boston, but I do believe with the experience of the wa- that the Warriors have, they're going to win as Stephen Curry will win his first MVP. That's my personal opinion on this. Now let's go. Let's go. Got out. Can I tell y'all? Man, but uh, nonetheless, welcome to another episode of Roast This, the comedic show where we talk about everything in the culture. I'm your host, Brandon Lewis. I'm never by myself. I'm always with my brethren. Yeah. So on the top, on the right hand side, all the way from Boston, Mass, Bean Town. Y'all give it up for Rito Bow. Rito. Hey, 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 up, hey there you go, man. Thanks for having me, y'all. Already, man. Right up under me right now, all the way from Sacramento, California, Swaggermento. Y'all give it up for Anthony, Dope Boy Belcher, aka Dope Pesci. Hey, B Lou, B Lou, you know why they call me Dope Pesci? Why? Because I'm a good fella. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this nigga, he waited and all last this but not shit. least, man, <laughs> always on the run in the street from H Town is going down. My yeah. dog is always booked and busy, man. Y'all give it up for Billy Sorrells, aka Billo. Yeah, what it do, man? Shoot, we just out here, man, just living life. What's going on with you, man? How you doing? Hey, now, can you tell me one question? Uh, I know you're the actor guy, you the guy that's on them, them commercials, the All State. That's you, ain't it? The, the, you get dry eyes, clear eyes. I seen you, man. You famous, bro. Ah, uh, damn, man. I seen you. What other movies you be doing, man? You was in Titanic. Get the hell out of here. You was in the band. You was you was really in, ti- in Titanic. And last but not least, right, man, that's crazy. Billy. That's Billy doing his thing at the airport, man. Last but not least, man, the dude that's never seen but always in between. Y'all give it up. Ding, ding, what's up, what up, baby? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Thank you. Happy Chilling, Tuesday. You yes, know, man. yes. So I just want to go and get this out the way now. Roast me. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to get it for everyone on YouTube and caffeine. The next episode of Roast Me is tomorrow. We get that out the way right. now. Like my nigga Dean just said, every episode of Roast Me will be streaming live from caffeine yeah, yeah, every yeah. other Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I use the five classroom edition. And uh tomorrow another episode will be dropping live for you on caffeine. So if you don't got caffeine, do this me, do me a favor right now. Go to your app store, download caffeine, follow all depth, follow each and every comedian on this platform right now so you can be caught up. At Billy Sorrells, at Big Bang Lewis, at I Am Doughboy, at Rito Brown. Follow us on the caffeine platform right now. Tell a friend to tell a friend to share this link so they can find out about us because we don't want you guys to hide us no longer. We're trying to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Showing y'all love each and every Tuesday. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so, fellas, uh, did, were you want to start on topics today, or what are we doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We got, we got, we got one more person coming to this podcast, man. Oh, All he's here way from Detroit, Michigan. There he is. There he is. Now. He's from 
Chris, when they say Didi, y'all get that for my nigga. Chris, see me. Ah, see me. Is your birthday, bro? Because it's certified. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I seen that birthday on the walls. So I was like, it's your boy's birthday. No, nah, man, my daughter's birthday was the other day, man. So we had a whole little party, man. Little oh, party. man, that's beautiful, yeah, man. Yeah, How's she party, turn? Man. Yeah, she yeah, turned man. eight, man. She turned you eight. In, you coming in, motherfucker, looking like crazy bone, lazy bone, lazy bone. <laughs> and you can't even have it, buddy. Oh, hold on, hold on, nigga. Let me look. Let me look. You and this motherfucker nigga like eight bucks of cigarettes. Cause this is your man. This is your man. This is your man. Eight bucks of cigarettes. <laughs> Eight bucks of cigarettes. This here This here a million. And you and this motherfucker looking like, look into my eyes and <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Would you hey, look into hey, my hey, eyes? Hey, you, hey, you. hey, you and this motherfucker looking like, I ain't never getting out of here. You understand me? I ain't never getting out of here. Look here, man, you got a shot. You got a chance. You got to get out there and rap. You got to get out there and blow up. Hey, 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 CP, he over there looking like, hey, listen, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> I'm a warrior, though. I'm and I want, I, I, I want what I want. I want what I want. I'm going to have it. You, you, you and this motherfucker looking like, more thugs and harmony. <laughs> more thugs. You and this motherfucker look like Ray Lewis, nigga. And that's why you got to seize your opportunity. You got to believe. <laughs> and you and this motherfucker looking like Booker T. Washington. <laughs> hey. Hey. And your ass at the police filling out a, a, a missing side tooth report. I swear to God, I just had him. <laughs> he looked look just like this one. I need y'all to find him real talk. I can't see shit. I can't do shit without my little man, B. I can't do shit for real. I was <laughs> fucking the lemon head. I was fucking the lemon head, and that bitch got lost. It was hiding in the little cave, B. I can still smell it, B. My little man, B. My little statue, B. <laughs> Any nigga I can't, that hey, I can't survive out here, son. They tried to order a pizza, yo. The pizza was deep dish, yo. I bit it. When I bit it, when I bit it, it looked like a skeleton key, yo. It looked like a piece of skeleton key, yo. It looked like a piece of skeleton key, yo. I can't live without my little man, B. I can't. P. Lou getting roasted, destroyed right now. I can't live without my little man, B. Uh, <laughs> any nigga that owed me money? Hey, hey, you <laughs> any like... nigga that ever offered me a piece of gum? Any nigga that ever offered me a Jolly Rancher? <laughs> any nigga that ever gave me a now later? Them it's niggas fucking dead, dead B. <laughs> Them niggas is fucking dead, B. Ah, them niggas no had fun. me drinking yeah. the candy straw. <laughs> All them niggas giving me the Oreos and shit, B. Them niggas is dead, B. <laughs> I owe my dentist 14 bricks. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. You are hilarious. Oh. You are hilarious. And you and yeah. this motherfucker looking like Sergeant Mason from First 48 Memphis Edition. Uh, I know y'all need it. I know y'all need it. Uh, <laughs> I know y'all took yeah, the boy. Yeah, my shit's crinkly. Tell, I get tell, it. tell us right now. I know you yeah, did it. Nigga. Sergeant Mason! I think I get 25 years in the hole. You understand me? In the hole. <laughs> Peanut butter jelly sandwich every day. 23 hour lockdown. Yeah. They had to come get me to do my own push ups. <laughs> they wouldn't let me do push ups. Hey, hey, you got to do the abrupt cutoff. Hey, go on. Get me out of here. <laughs> you understand me? But, oh, this here, but this here is a mind control. <laughs> This shit. But this right here <laughs> can set your mind free. There it is. There oh. it is. There it is. All right, all right, B. Lewis. I can get your cell phone, but it's going to smell like ass. Turn on the switch on me. <laughs> all right, we switch the topic. We switch the topics. All right, we gonna start. Oh, not that one. Not that. One. Not yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. So we are just gonna go ahead and or rest in peace to Kevin Samuels, man. This nothing peace. Nukes, man. Rest in peace.
of all, yes, I would like to say rest in peace to Kevin Samuel. I know that a lot of persons, I don't want to classify any specific gender, but I know that a lot of persons are really saddened and uh, unfortunately excited of his death. I don't think we should ever celebrate a person's death in a negative way, only positive. I know that he may have offended a few persons while here on earth, but I don't think he got the wrong atten attention to that. His intentions, I don't think, see what the thing is with social media, if you are building up your empire, right? and you've been doing something for years and years and it haven't really kicked off, right? But then you find one thing that really, really boosts up your community. You're going to tend to really change up things and focus on that one thing. But I do think that he got caught up in the process and he really fed into the, I wouldn't say overnight success, but it, to some it did happen overnight because we, before the pandemic, we didn't know who Kevin Samuels was. So because of that happening within the last two years, I, I do think that it really, really changed his perspective and the way he used his platform. And I just think we all should give person's respect when they die. That, that's just the end of story right there, but that's just my opinion. But let's hear what Doughboy and the rest of the crew have to say about this situation. This is a touchy subject. Yeah, rescue the camera, the new, man. Obviously, he passed away, uh, I believe it was, was it this weekend? Yeah. This, this weekend, um, you know, so not... Think. That's a yeah, like foul play, Dean. So here's the thing. I actually have the video of his last live stream ever. Y'all want to see it? He was, he was talking yeah, to her. Yeah, yeah he was talking. irritated he was. Yeah, y'all want to see it? Yeah. All right, let's go. I'm going to put, mute the music, though. Because the music kind of weird. I don't know. I'll turn it down a little bit. They got a clip without the music. Do that? Yeah, there's a clip where you can hear what he's saying. I, I see. I have hey. no you, there's no music, and you yeah, can't. Yeah, I heard one with there's no music saying. too. Whoever can right. say we can't mixtape over this, you are a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All it is, he was listening to my shit. That's the last thing he was listening to. Killing <laughs> 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 shit. Killing <laughs> shit. Let me see if I can find it real quick while y'all talk about it, man. But yeah, yeah, I mean. Here's the thing. I was rest in peace, man. He got he got famous during during COVID. You know what I mean? All those all those Zoom chats, roasting all these women and everything else that kind of came with it. And I, it made me think: was would he would he be considered a roaster? CP, B. Lou, Rito, Doe, like y'all are actually roasters. Y'all that's what y'all do. Would you consider Kevin Samuel? I don't necessarily would think he's a roaster. He's just someone that. When he say something, it sound offensive. I don't know how to say it, but it just comes off like he's being mean. But sometimes, when person say something that is honest, it may it may come off kind of mean most of the times. But if we really, really look at it, most of the person he's talking to is basically trying to tell them to to better themselves and not expect. Expect things to be the way you want it without you putting in putting yourself in a better position to actually get that, you know. But um I don't consider Kevin Summer as a roaster. The things he say though is really, really funny and I could I could see why they would say that though. I would see why. A roaster, or would you have considered I absolute, him? I absolutely no. would consider him a roaster and a okay. master roaster because a lot of times he'd be roasting women that were actually beautiful. Like that's really a skill. Like that's on like Martin used to roast Pam, but Pam was finer than Gina. Like you know what I'm saying? So you got to be a real good roaster to roast a beautiful woman. So I no, think Kevin. Said I do agree with Joe Boy saying Pam is uh, finer than Gina. A lot of people don't, at the time, didn't see that. 
but I, I do love dark skinned women, so I do agree with that. That Pam was fine, and she still is fine for her age, to be honest. Was, was an amazing roaster. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait. One at a time. We're gonna go one at a time. One at a time. Uh, okay, so that so that was Doughboy. Okay, uh, CP, what you got to say? I gotta go. disagree with Doughboy. I think that this nigga was <clears throat> that's like calling Malcolm X a roaster because he was roasting white people all the time. And but nigga, he had a message. He was talking about some whole other shit. It's just he came across like that. What right, right. Kevin Samuels did, bro. Unfortunately. And I think it's just my opinion, whatever. I think that the brother, it was some foul play involved. That nigga didn't look sick right there. He didn't. I he mean, didn't. He didn't look sick to whatever. But it's like, bro, come on, man. You, you know, and she with you. You know how, you know how motherfucker gotta be, gotta, gotta let it be known. I was right here with you know. What I'm saying? Like, it's, uh, all that shit don't sit right with me. And she was a nurse. She probably took some needles. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> yes. What I'm trying to make is this. In a lot of ways, bro, even though he did it very meanly because, I mean, he he fed off of his internet trolls and all of that. But, bro, this nigga held women accountable in a way that I think they had not been really held accountable. Like, yeah, you're right. Some of the women were pretty. Then he'd be like, how many kids you got? Four? How many baby daddies? Four? What you do? Uh, I'm trying to go to school for this. And what you want? I want a man that's this. is like, bitch, shut up. <laughs> and, and we've all wanted to say that. It's like, what right. are you talking about? What are you like? What the fuck are you talking about? And, and somebody said it. Somebody said like, "Yo, you, you know, somebody put a mirror." Like, "Yo, baby girl, this how you coming through right now?" Right. Four baby daddies and 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 no money. And you think that a man of value who has built up his own fortress is going right. to give it to you, who has obviously mismanaged everything from her money down to her pussy. And we had never really seen that. I had never really seen somebody take that approach. So it, it seemed honest. And it was just really sad seeing people bash him after his death. Like, I don't care how anybody feels about somebody's views, but I come from like an era where, you know, you don't speak ill of the dead. So like to see people on Twitter talking shit about a man that just passed away, like that shit was low key disgusting to me. Yeah, I was just like, it, it was kind of weird. That was super whack to me. Yeah. I, that I didn't was even whack. understand that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hold, 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 hold. Hold on, let's let's get let's get Rito and Billy's uh side of points before we go. All right, we'll go we'll go Rito real quick and then we'll go we'll Billy Billy last. What up, yeah. Rito? This this is my thing, yo. I feel like the like Kevin Samuels, the character that's on the internet, I, I get I get why people didn't fuck with him because I get why women didn't fuck with him because of the shit he said. And that's the only side they knew. But after I seen that video with him talking to the girl, it was and, and she in the background. Like I, he wasn't even being the Kevin Samuels character to her. He could have easily been like, "See, that's why you ain't got no man. You don't shut the fuck." He could have did that, and I seen him holding that shit back. So once I seen him holding that character back and really letting this bitch walk around and do whatever the fuck she want to do in the background that looks like it's stressing the nigga out, I really, I get why people are dissing this nigga during his death. Like if a dude walked out of a store and bumped into you and was like, "Man, fuck you," and you're like, "What the fuck?" and he got hit by a bus. You probably be like, man, that nigga got what the fuck he deserved, nigga. Fuck him too. And no, like, I'll be like, like, oh shit, this guy just got hit. Oh my no, god, I freak but, out. But that's the, I'm saying certain people. They they don't know right. nothing. This nigga could have been a pastor or whatever. These mm -hmm. people don't know nothing about Kevin Samuels. But when they see stuff about him, they're talking directly to them. They're like, bitch, you got three kids. You ain't never gonna get a nigga. And she's like, who the fuck is this nigga? Fuck him. And then the next thing they see is this nigga dying. And they're like, good, I'm glad the nigga that made me feel that way is gone. That's why they doing it. I don't think they have a problem with the nigga as a whole, bro, because we right. don't even know the nigga. Right. He's totally why? different than the character that we see. When we, the nigga that be going off on these bitches was letting some 23-year-old girl walk around his house before he go on live, y'all fucking crazy. He let that get on air before he died? There ain't no fucking way. That's not, that, that character he's playing is amazing, nigga. But people hate the fucking character. I don't think they hate him. They hate the character. Yeah, I yeah. see what you're saying. That makes I mean, that's, that's who he got portrayed as. That's who he put himself online as. So that's where the people roasted. B Billy? I feel what like you got? Hey, man, listen. Oh, fuck it. Go you know, yeah, love Billy. Love Billy. Go, go, go ahead, CP. Go, go ahead, Billy. Right. You go. Go ahead, Billy. Yeah, so it kind of goes to what y'all what, was, was being said. It is a character. But uh, going back and just not just rewatching some of his stuff, you realize there's a level of satire about what it is he's saying. And if it had been established probably in the beginning that it was it was him being funny because Atheon does the same thing when he impersonates him and 
it's not much difference if what Avion is doing versus what Kevin Samuel is doing and just how he's interjecting his satire. Um, but the, the thing I love the most about Kevin Samuels was I agree with all the shit he was saying. I totally agree. And I think that I think the other part was it he wasn't biased to where he was saying stuff to keep the audience on the side of I still want women to like me a certain way. He's like, nah, I'm a Simon Carroll this thing. I, I hold yourself accountable, be better. And then, you know, the other part was, you know, women got mad, they had petitions to sign trying to take them off and shit. And they, uh, Kevin Samuels gay. Well, he said all that. He died in some pussy, though. I know that. He, he was probably like nut three in some pussy when he got up out of here. So they can say all that shit they wanted to say. Kevin Samuels was, was in some ass. How he died? On top of me. That's how he died. He was in, he was, he was stroking. And it was a BBW he was in there with. Yeah. All right. CP, CP, you got it. Oh, go ahead, Billy. Go ahead. No, no. So go ahead. We open up now. Everybody, we, we open up the platform. So just, uh, all right. Just. Free, free all. Like, what you mean? What you mean, CP? Put it like this. Up. That shit make you almost like. That's the reason why I really don't advocate for nothing out loud. Cause it ain't really my job to be the nigga that's bashing anybody. You ever think about that? Like, dog, the nigga was out here bashing women, and it's kind of like we. Although we appreciate the message, I know his life is more, and his legacy is more important to him than to die, and that be it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I understand. I, and I hate to be like that, right? But, like, you know, as I grow into my celebrity, I'm not going to be the person that's getting pushed into a corner to talk about stuff that I don't want to talk about. Right. And you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, it's just like, oh, like, my opinion is my opinion. And my opinion is also my opinion. I don't have to share it. And so I feel like mm. it's unfortunate, man, like, that, th- that this man's legacy is getting drug through the mud you know I, because of, you know what he, i do got some he highlights does. i got some highlights of him, of him doing what he does y'all want to watch but that look, real quick hold on but let me say this though. go ahead to people be like dedicating their life to like turtles yeah like people, people out here like we really got paper straws you think i give a fuck about a turtle more than i give a fuck about a good ass straw that i ain't got to drink down and <laughs> Like, 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 it's kind of be funny, but nobody told me back in the day that I would have to choose. What is CP talking about? Is he height between the turtles and straws? It could have been anything. I don't, I don't even, I don't care about them things that hold the cans together. We could eliminate them. Make bi- what is he talking about? How degradable thing, but he, <laughs> so <laughs> CP is hiring now. So. We need to go down to the beach when them turtles is hatching. You know, all the turtles be hatching on the beach and take some straws down there and gather all them little niggas up while they're young and impressionable and be like, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, like, bad, I, bad, I, I didn't bad, know where he was going with this. I had no idea. Pink, his, like, hit him on the head. Pink, no. Each one kind of going over. Pink, no. And then they see a straw. Oh, that's that one shit, my man. <laughs> you can <you> impact. <laughs> that's that one shit, my man. Because <laughs> look. Because <laughs> look. What if, nigga, what if, what if the straws is killing the jellyfish? They, but no, nah, see, I would, I would have to disagree for one small reason. Because people have been catching fish with worms for years. And these niggas still to this day have not gotten together and sent a memo around to not fuck with the worms. So I don't think that the turtles could get wise to the straws. Sea turtles are valuable, man. We moving on. Oh, I don't know where the fuck we going. Sea turtles are valuable, man. Hold on, hold on. Last <laughs> time you fished was a fillet. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Come on. <laughs> you had a number seven every time, but that's the last time you fished. <laughs> you know, nigga, worms don't work no more. These fish are so smart. They have, they have lures now. Nigga, they have lures. <laughs> Hey, but this here man. Be looking at about wow. Oh my goodness. Eight <laughs> box. This here a man, Bubba. This here a man. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
It's all it's all it's all fun and games till we hear somebody in the background of CP house talking about tell my auntie to get off my computer. In memoriam, in memoriam to his passing. Hey, hey, y'all want to hear some crazy shit? Hey, hey, I'm gonna wait till Rito stop laughing. I'm gonna wait till Rito stop laughing. Hey. <laughs> If a vampire had bit B. Lou, he wouldn't even have the teeth to even carry on. He would just. <laughs> <laughs> even I don't know what to do. <laughs> I catch a bite, nigga. <laughs> I catch a bite, nigga. <laughs> 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 this nigga, man. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga, you would get arrested, bro. You would be the only vampire in jail. <laughs> hey, how you get caught? I could not bite niggas. I was pretty weak. I could not bite niggas. So in, in memoriam to Kevin Samuels passing, y'all want to watch a little bit of his highlight reel? Just yes. a little bit of it. Yeah, we're going to watch a little bit. Because somebody's yeah. going to be like, auntie, auntie, I got to turn my heart one day by seven. I want to tell you my heart to be auntie. I'm going to do we're still enjoying the reverse vampire, Joe. You had to be the first vampire with a straw. <laughs> this nigga, man. Hoping niggas uh, like chop a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> like a Capri Sun. <laughs> All right, y'all ready? Other news: uh, Four more straw victims have been found in the East Coast. Sign <laughs> <laughs> Hyde Park. Someone is drinking little kids. Back to you in studio. Um, Thank you for that, CP. We're steady looking for the man who's been poking straw holes into the side of niggas' necks. <laughs> Here's what we do know. Here's what we do know, Billy. The, the coroner is saying that all the blood is coming from the left side of the body. Apparently, there's a tooth missing in this left side that is not producing enough suction to get all the blood. Most of the left side of the body is gone. The vampire is all to the next victim because he can't he can't get over there for the other side of the thing. We do know that. That's it. Forensics That's tell us that. That's amazing. Now, the uh, city of Los Angeles has come together and uh, offered up Doughboy as a sacrifice because he's got enough blood for everybody. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And listen, what listen does that do? they're even willing to sweeten the deal. They're saying <laughs> Doughboy plus eight boxes of cigarettes. <laughs> you back, know uh, that's a man. <laughs> back, back to you, Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are y'all ready? Let's go. Uh, I have, like, trust issues with women or whatnot. So I like sharing my location you know, like, with him just women. to make him feel comfortable. Is that are weird? you? Have you had any therapy? <laughs> yes, I have. In the you, past. you need to go back. Oh my gosh! Really? <laughs> and you're already trying to make him feel comfortable two weeks into it. Right. That's too much proving uh, to do. You're not his. You're not his wife. I'm just being nice and being like, that's hey, not being, like, no, it's not, no, no, it's not being nice. Mm -hmm. It's being a people pleaser. That's not normal. That's not normal. You want to be nice? All right, let's go out a couple of times. I need you to give me $10,000. Be nice. <laughs> oh, be, be nice. No. I mean, come on, be nice. I mean, come on, be nice. I need $10,000 and we need to go ahead and run the soul train. Just separate. Yeah, tennis weather. Y'all see it? No? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. That's, that sounds that sound like a tennis one, one the type shit. But anyway. Nice. No. Of course. So you so so there are things that sound crazy to you. Yes. Yes. Sharing your location with somebody you've gone out with twice is crazy. Mm. Okay. Thoughts, fellas? Is he right? I mean, that's accurate. He's definitely right. That's what I liked he about him. He told he told he the truth. Understand. Sometimes the nigga crazy too. Hmm? Sometimes he crazy too. Like she might be, you know what I'm saying? Like, her nigga might really appreciate that. She fuck around, stop sending them locations, and you fuck around, kill her. <laughs> True. True. That that's good. That's good. Like, so on a second date, she, she, got the, she got the nigga the location on the second date. You might as well say, go ahead, come to my house, chop me up, and put me in a garage door flow, because I yeah. need to be not found. Second yeah. date. Second date is crazy, dog. It's pretty early. That's wild. That's wild. pretty early. All right. Man, but sometimes crazy and crazy meet, and it just be you be like, man, they look like they having fun, looking like Joker and uh, Harley Quinn. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> head out the window like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> they both go opposite sides of the car. The nigga driving with his feet, crazy yeah. motherfucker. Crazy. Right. <laughs> Niggas love crazy bitches. That's the problem, dog. You want to keep going? You want to watch you more? Yeah, yeah, come on. All right, let's go. Hold on. Like salons, like salons just woke up. 
Hold on, let me, let me, hold on, let me see what she said. I think she said something for him to act like that. Let me, let me, let me I give myself quick. a solid 9.8. <sighs> Ooh, that was good. This <laughs> nigga Kevin said it was bad. But look, he ain't asking where she was from, though. She might be a 9.8 in, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. somewhere in Tennessee or something. Yeah, yeah but a small town. A 9.8 nigga means there's, like, something yeah, wild not- fucked up. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. 9.8 means, like, I'm perfect, but God did this to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like, yeah, like, excessive titty hair. I feel you. Yeah. It's <laughs> Pretty is not enough for a lot of men because I'm pretty and I'm still single. So, what do you want? I, I don't. I, I don't know. I really okay. don't know what I want because these men they don't know what they want. A lot of men don't know what they want in women. Mm. And you said you're how old again? Thirty three. Thirty three. So regardless as to what men want, you don't know what you want. I mean, I know what I want, but... Well, what is that? <laughs> Guys, remember the first thing I said about ego? They're not willing to be honest. To be honest with you, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what I want in a man. Like, I've been screwed and fucked for so long, I don't know what I want in a man. Just in this little bit of time of talking to you, it's been chaotic. <laughs> I'm just asking you just to <laughs> stuff about who you are and what you want. And um, the sto- way you told the story is... Yeah, you can't. She left. This shit up, people. She left. She left. She got out of there. She got out of that one. Hey, hey I mean, we can keep going. Kevin hey, Samuels, hey, rest hey, in peace, man. Like, bro, just we write to a find, bullet, we man. find her social media and see what she said about this nigga dying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Probably. So, so CP, uh, this spot about Kevin Samuels, bro. Um, you know, two of my chapter brothers, they uh, they actually pledged some dudes. With Kevin Samuels, he came down. He used to kick it with the U of H and uh, Beta chapters, man. And they were just talking about how he was as like, like a like as a frat brother, like how on, on point he was, and how he he pre- he presented himself, and how he was as a as a pledger and as a dean. He was like a, they was like really a dope dean and a dope stepmaster, bro. So like his discipline was just like that's just who he was and how he how he handled himself, like. He had been like that even before he got to be in his fifties. So, it's the discipline aspect was 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 crazy. Yeah, that's wild. Man. Yeah, man. I, again, again, I honestly, CP, I'm still on your side with the whole foul play thing, but I'm not gonna. I, it's all it's all allegations, man. I can't. We can't go too far into it. It's all so we can't really touch it too much. Oh no, man, he died. He died. Did, did fucking, he died. Fucking a thirty two year old woman, man. So it could have been a dick bill, man. I, I thought she was twenty. Was she twenty two or thirty two? 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. Okay, 32. 32. 32. He's 56. He's 57, man. He could have a blue pill. Yeah, but me, Lou, you see the way that nigga be dogging them uh, Red Bulls and shit, too, nigga. Oh, yeah, he was in like three or four of those at uh, oh, a city. Oh, okay. Well, those can oh. be stressful on your heart. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, that, right. she is. stressing that nigga out, too. You can see she No, wait, it. Red Bulls are stressful? Yeah, nah, you're not supposed to drink yeah. Hell yeah. I'm not going to hold you. Red Bulls and Monster taste so good, man. Tastes so good, but it's so bad for you. I don't know. That could be it too, because if you if you watch a few of his videos, you can see him opening a few Red Bull cans and drinking them like it's nothing. Too many of them. I know a homeboy. I got a homeboy. He's a skinny nigga, and he had a heart attack because he used to drink monsters every day. Yep. So he don't drink them shits no more. You got to be careful. Dude, the whole body must have hurt, nigga. He yeah, man. Yeah. Any nigga. Now you yeah. saw what Vivica Fox said. Vivica Fox. I hated said. that Fox. shit. Like I don't, I don't understand Long how you great. can speak. I don't, I don't see how you can speak bad of somebody. I'm who is look no it up. I don't know what she said. She said basically yeah. like karma's a bitch and it come back harder and oh well, rest in peace. Yo, like, these are all you, the people. But though, these nah. are all the people that wanted to say something but when he was alive. Some, and they were scared of the they nigga. Didn't say they shit. were scared to say and it. That, and you can't be mad at somebody for speaking their truth. If that was his truth, that's his truth. You ain't got to accept it. You ain't got to like it. You ain't got to fuck with it. But that's that man's truth. So I just, it's just scary that people will persecute you for living in, and, and, and living in your own truth. That's and weak that to me. scare you, nigga, out in the world we live in. That scare you, nigga, that? Well, I'm just, I, I just feel I, like that's I, a so, terrible premise. This is, my, like, this is my thing with it, uh-huh. dope boy. Like, to see everything that's gone on, like I knew that was gonna happen. Like nigga, right. I don't I don't wish death on nobody, but just to see this, nigga, imagine when Trump go. 
But no, but, but no, but no, 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 but, no, but bro, gonna, oh, it's gonna bro, be bro. worse. Bro. His That's mother, living. hear me out, Rito. Here, like, his mother found out that he was that he had passed away on social media. So imagine being a mother, finding out her son passed away, and then seeing hundreds and thousands of terrible tweets about the the man that he was. That could fuck somebody up. I mean, that comes with the territory, though. When you're a public I get that, man, I I get that though, boy. But it's I say it's too much to control, though. Like, people, yeah. it's worse than what we think it is. Social media is a motherfucker, man. It wasn't like this back in the day. No, nah, we know that, but everybody got a hold of it, and some people yeah. don't know how to... Even, yeah, even be it's, it's, it's bad, man. I, I'll leave it at this. This actually, I, you know, I'm, I'm get working on my segue game. Even in real life, or even in social media, because this situation happened too. Oh, that was cool. yeah. This situation happened too. The Chris Paul. Yeah, this is this is the next topic anyway. This is already the next topic. See, uh, B. Lou. The next topic is what happened with Chris Paul. <laughs> no, no, you are good. I'm just saying. The next segment is. The situation with Chris Paul and someone reaching out and touching his mother. Now, I did watch the actual video. Chris Paul did foul out. Six minutes left in the game. They end up losing. And this this kid uh, reached out to, and touched his mother on, like, it's okay type of thing. But at the same time, don't do that. Don't touch nobody. Don't oh, do wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. So let me get this clear, though. Yes. He just touched his mama like it's going to be okay. He didn't disrespectfully touch his mama. I, 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 probably. I mean, the video that I saw, it didn't look like it was nothing too crazy from my understanding. But e either way. Either way, like obviously she's gonna be upset. Her her son just fouled out right. the game. They're about to lose. Right. So I can I can show you the full video of uh, CP kind of like, yelling at this kid on the way out. Let's watch that real quick and then we'll get back. The thing about before we get into the video, what do you think would would be CP's CP's career when he retires? Because let's face it, we don't think he's going to win another ring. CB3 had so many chances in his career where his team was favored to win and for somehow, for some reason, they just end up losing the series. So, we, we, we can say that CB3 is one of the best, one of the best point guards, point guards there is in the league. We can agree on that. But how... Where would you rank CB3 when he retire? I know he is not above, he's not above Steph. I would put Steph first. Point guard, point guard. Steph is first. Uh, then it'd probably be Luka. Then, I don't know. I have to really do some research, but it's really going to be hard. I know he's a Hall of Fame and everything, but it's really going to be hard to decide where CP3 is going to be placed. He is not ab above Isaiah Thomas and everything, but, you know, it's just sad to know that he's not going to win a ring. <laughs> <laughs> During yeah, so he had, you know, I mean, he was upset, man. He was upset about it. I thought that was Matt Rife. Shit, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> I mean, I mean, no, what no, saved him and Chris Paul? If I was Chris Paul and I feel him, the only thing that saved him was the dude was young. When he yeah, of course. Him, when he seen who the perpetrator was, he was reasonably young. Had that been an older white man, I would have been in the stands, and I know CP would have been in the stands flat out. Yeah, this this is a statement for everything right here. Just a little bit more of it. Flat out, he said, "Look, that's what saved him. He realized it's a young boy. He's young. You, you, him being a kid saved him. You yeah, him being a kid saved him for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, like, yeah, I didn't. For, I didn't like. Sure. I didn't like evaluate the whole shit when I seen it. I just heard what it was and was like, damn. But the way you put it, Blue, that's real. I can sure, tell you what this comes from. Nigga, this, nigga, this com that's my mama, man. On nah, everything. Really this, but this is what this comes from. It comes from a culture of internet motherfucking trolls that can say whatever they want to say on the internet and there's no repercussions. So then you walk around in life and you think that that's the same thing. Like, oh, it ain't nothing. He probably did it on some little, oh, like, yeah, get up out of here shit. But you don't touch nobody. You don't put your hands on nobody. You get your ass hurt. But it comes from the culture that these young motherfuckers is coming up in and just saying shit and not being held accountable so, for. So, uh, CP, go ahead. Yeah, you you gonna disagree you. again, nigga? <laughs> no, nah, with all due respect, no. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna give you some friendly opposition on this, right? Okay. okay. 
you ever feel like it's some shit that black people just don't play around with that other cultures seem to kind of not give a fuck about and when you get around a lot of other cultures you start to be like damn am i tripping for even feeling like that's a big deal or sometimes as a black man and i'm just playing devil's advocate because i can strongly feel cp side and i understand what b lou was saying however do we take shit too personal sometimes because of how we feel is there a slight inferiority complex in the way that we deal with other races especially other races cp my only rebuttal to that i, I don't mean to cut you off that something else happened with uh uh nurkic nurkic the nurkic situation where someone was talking about his grandmother who died of covid and everything else like that and, and nurkic slapped the phone out of his hand you know what i mean so so again it does like Exactly. So that's Nurkish. You know what I mean? And it's right, so but, but, no, 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 no. But come on, okay. man. That's 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 completely different, bro. Okay. That's okay. Completely different. I'm talking. I mean, because you know, first of all, that's just that's somebody who died, and I mean, they could say Nurk is wrong, but somebody could say what they want to say. These is fans trying to get in your head. True. You know True. He, he was on the sideline. He wasn't even playing at that time. But go ahead, TP. My bad. Oh, so, but what I'm saying is like, uh, you know how, you know how white boys play around with each other right. and i'm just I'm, I'm just i'm just throwing that out there you know how white boys play fresh it yeah friend shit, and they cross lines that they, they play pranks on their parents you know what i'm saying that bam shit from mtv and all of that shit back in the day yep. that's just kinda, yeah. yeah that you know that that type of stuff is so accepted on that side and everything is deemed as such a disrespect to a black man. All of that I just named. Tom Green shit. All uh, kind of, you know what I'm saying? And I've nobody want to talk about it, but it's like there is like a silly white boy way. And it's a kind of like young black dude way. It's it's two different things. Right. It but really in this, is. And but a in young this case, man was killed tonight. The thing is, with even black families. Black families, but even parents, black parents and um, Caucasians or white parents, they some tend to raise their kids differently. When you see that, I know me personally, everything is like tough love. And a lot of families probably wouldn't do things that way, but that's just how it is in the black community as a whole. Some some families are just raised that way, you know? I for playing with a man yeah. who everybody not playing, man. You can't just yeah. play with everybody. Hey, I hey, can't hey, just play, CP, can't play with I, everybody, man. For me, CP, I say this. Mom, I, I, any fades my mama don't want, I'm taking them. I don't care what it is. If she got to fight, if my mama going to fight, and she don't want to fight, I'll take the fight for her, nigga. I don't of care course. what's going on. So of course, of and course. I, and, of and, course and, it's, and it's and it's and like I made that decision as a kid, so it's just sticking with me. Like yeah. she's done enough for me to for me to be like, man, if somebody do something to her, I I'm, everything else is out the window. And, and that's my like, this. But hold on, you gotta realize this. He was he got the he got the information from an alert standpoint. It was a, it was in the panic like, hey man, your mom, bro. So it is, it wasn't even in the energy like somebody was playing. Oh, it came yeah, from the yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She right, she exactly. So first thing I'm thinking like, what the fuck is my? Like, mom who touched my mother in the? Who yeah, touched my mother in the stands? My mom. So it's like, oh shit, nigga. Like, Smoke. Not playing. Smoke. Right. But 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 like I didn't know none of the shit before. Right now, I'm just right. watching it right now. Right. Right. So, If hindsight is twenty twenty, and then we sitting down with CP3, and then we look at the footage, and it's just like, oh, see you guys, game seven, and then they flip out because they mad about the game and all of that too. Do you still do you still have the same reaction? Yes, because there's certain lines you don't cross. You don't put your hands on nobody exactly. in my family. I'm like I mean, all, no, and I feel you, but you hold know on, what I'm saying? On, like, this this, though. Look, like look, keep your hands on, to on. yourself. I, I pull up. Had hands put on her by Dallas fans. And Paul's wife was also pushed. See, that's yeah, oh, see, yeah, that's crazy. No, I was, I was Yo, crazy. I'm taking off first. I'm taking off first. That's ridiculous. Hold on, hold on. Let's get, let's get the statement from the Mavericks real quick because again, that was someone on that side. So statement they from the Mavericks. The there it is. Yeah. 
It was unacceptable behavior. Okay, hey, the Mavericks said it was unacceptable behavior. So mm -hmm. something happened. At the end of the day, we yeah, know yeah, something yeah, happened. Yeah, Hold on, 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 Dean. Where did you get the uh the he softly patted her? Like if you if you watch if you watch another video, like you see someone's hand come out and like touch someone's back. That's all. That's the only video that we have so far. Oh, okay. So that yeah, don't sound like no pat. That sound like exactly. Like, I don't know if she got up. I don't know if she has. That's yeah, kind of some of the good ass white justification. Like, well, if you look at the camera right here, we can clearly if we exactly. Can, so they probably right. cut, they cut it right there. They ain't cut it right there. Ain't nobody getting yep. that riled up over a pat, bro. Exactly. Ain't nobody getting that riled up over a pat. No, and no alert. Nobody's getting alerted for somebody saying. That's what I'm saying. Nobody's so getting is, alerted. Nobody's getting alerted from somebody saying maybe next time. That's not. That's not enough to get me mad and then my son. Yeah, find yeah, out. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, maybe next time. You, you, you physically push me, bro. No. They're gonna downplay everything, though. You they're gonna downplay. They're gonna downplay they definitely everything. go downplay yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. Man. Come on, man. This man been in the league. This, this man mama been this man mama been sitting uh, behind him for over 18 years, bro. This he this ain't no he didn't he didn't experience fans touching his mama and, hey. and saying good game and maybe next time. His mama didn't experience fans touching him, touching her, telling her maybe next time you had a good one, your son played great. This See, that's was the shit that, a little kid that's the, out of line. Hey, hey, nigga, hey, nigga. Hey, I'm going to give it to you when you're right, baby. Hey, you, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Hey. But see, that's the shit. Was this nigga killed the right. devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Billy, oh, Billy, my bad, Billy. The oh, Billy, there you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're good. You're good, boy. Everybody not playing. No, but that's, what, but that's what happens when a motherfucker don't feel no consequence. If you don't feel like nothing's going to happen, it's like, yeah, whatever. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? If you don't feel like you ain't shit going to happen, you gonna do whatever the fuck you want to do. That's what the, these kids got to learn. It, it, life ain't like that it's in not, real life. Or, on the computer, on the computer, maybe, but in life, it's consequences. Yep. Well, not, Phil yeah. was a light consequence. He got banned for just next year. He got banned for one year. That's a lot. I don't feel like the niggas hey, should hey, go to hey, jail. Hey, B. Lou, if that if that kid was like a thirty five year old man, you think CP in the stands? He would have been rushed. He would he would have rushed in the stands. Oh he yeah, would have had to contain that nigga. Oh had yeah, that, had CP, he seen him? He, he, CP in the stands. But he then, got so. reserved. He got reserved energy. He seen him and said, "That's why. That's the only thing he can say is, I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna only see you.' Do and say that." But had that been a 35 year old white man, they would have been trying. To, it would have been a palace in the bra. They would have been yep. trying to grab CP from goddamn getting at that yeah. boy. Yep. But to keep it real, hey, you hey, you but to keep it real, but to keep it the palace, nigga. I'm but see, to keep it real, fans been doing shit. fans fans have been doing this shit for years. They yeah. throw shit at players like they act like they animals, and that shit ain't really cool like that. Motherfuckers be throwing drinks at them and shit like that shit ain't cool. Yeah. And now you got kids doing that shit. Hey, I mean, honestly, yeah, I like it. yeah, yeah. This is I mean, it's a CP statement after. it. This is Chris Paul's statement after that. Want a fine play for saying stuff to fans, but the fans can't put their hands on our families. F that. See what I'm saying? So, you know, and I get it. I get yeah, it, man. Yeah, yeah. CP yeah, would have jumped up and ripped his ears off. Everybody been like, oh, CP yeah, ripped his ears off. That was a correct off. statement for, for a kid. Yep. Nah. Correct statement for a kid touching my mama. Had yep. it been a grown man, I'd have been in the motherfucking stands and I'd have been heated at every nigga that tried to uh, save me because, shit, I'm taking that ill and I'm taking that penalty. Yep. Hey, how, uh, don't CP3 got uh got got a son? He got he's, a he's young. He's young for now, but, but, but he might come back and get him later. What was uh, when they had the uh the palace and the brawl? What was the, uh, what was the penalty like? Who who sat out the longest, bro? Uh, I think the whole year for uh, Ronald Chess. Ronald Chess. Ronald Chess. And that was only one year, right? Yeah. Man, that ain't yeah. Shit, and then he came. To, uh, then he came to L.A. Yeah, that's yep. it. Yeah. Then he changed his name first, then he came to LA. Yep. And he yeah. won some more rings after that. And he was one more. Exactly. Steve, him, Steven Jackson got caught up. I think Ben Wallace obviously did Jermaine too. O Jermaine O'Neal probably took a whole L. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was all crazy. of them, all of them got rings except Jermaine O'Neal. Yeah. I think Jermaine might have got one on a bench, maybe for the heat. I could be wrong though. Yeah, I think I'll he Maybe he, he did. did. Yeah, he was just sitting on the side. He was just there when, when LeBron and them were there. He didn't play much, I don't think. He might have been there. Oh, no, you yeah. might be right. I think he did play with LeBron and them. Yeah. Right. Same thing with Gary Payton. Oh, they they lost, went to the finals they four times. They only won two. Yeah. So, yeah. He might have made it to the finals or whatever the case is. But, yeah. Well, fellas, uh, we got one more topic, which is uh, a lot of allegations. A lot. This this situation right here. We, we, we really don't. We <laughs> know who we don't. Hey man, I fuck with these niggas, but hey, look at the fucking face. Hey, 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 hey. 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 We got a special hey, update coming in.
Kadeem is so wrong for choosing this picture. Wow, look at Thug. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at Gunna. <laughs> Thug look, look like he did that shit. Thug look like he did that shit. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Gunna look like, let me explain, let me explain. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we got a special update coming in right now. Coming in hot off the news press, guys. CP, uh, yes. it, it, they're, they're definitely pushing P, and the P stands for penitentiary. <laughs> the P also stands for prison. Uh, possibly, possibility of parole, man. Uh, <laughs> Possible uh, parole. Nothing but peace. Nothing but well, peace. Well, well, what I'm was, hearing, what I'm hearing, B. Lou, is that for Gunna, P stands for phone home because that's where he's at right now. <laughs> yeah, the P, the P also stands for penal code and pen and paper that somebody snitched on his. Man, look, man. So, so, yeah, look at 59, face, 59. Why are they using this picture, bro? Don't, hey, get another picture from my nigga. Though. He's all, right, all right, I'm going to find another picture. I'm going to find another picture. Let me say these, man. Go back, go back, go back, go back. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. You know what he look like? Y'all know Randy from Monsters Inc. The little, yeah. the little CD. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like he did. Like, that's a good one. That shit is funny as fuck. Let me get him off of there. I'll find the best pitch for these boys. Hey, hey man, I'm gonna tell you like this, man. Them boys gonna beat that trial, man. It ain't a fair case, man. The city don't goddamn know what the fuck they talking about. Like I tell y'all, man, city workers eat windows while they goddamn do paperwork, man. Them niggas listen, goddamn make it. Listen, listen, be low, be low, be low. Okay. And I listen, and all these are just allegations. So I hope yep. these brothers, I hope they are innocent of what they're saying. But this is a Rico case, brother. This ain't just no nah, hey, this ain't let's go. Rico this ain't just, nigga, hold on, hold on, hold on. That means that they have been doing work on this for a couple of years, nigga. So they don't just come out and show their hands. So a Rico case is a big thing. It ain't Casanova got indicted on a Rico. Damn near two years ago. He been sitting there ever true. since, nigga. Nah, double, double right. Double like, Rico's Rico. is serious, nigga. Double yeah, Rico double is serious, Rico bro. on the brisket one time. <laughs> <laughs> he put a brisket in the oven and put it on Rico mode. Two and a half years. So, 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 we, we got a few questions. Wrong. We got a few questions from the chat. And I just want to go ahead and address a few it's of them. This look, at this, look at these Christian priests. Yeah, this is, what's, this is way better. There you go, y'all. Welcome for that. But what was was there murder really involved and everything else like that? We again, it's all allegations, man. We allegations, really don't know. We just we don't know. We don't know. We don't know exactly what they're caught up for right now. But first of all, man, Gunner's real name is Sergio. That's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Sergio, he wouldn't do it. His name is Sergio. His real name is Sergio. Uh, That's funny. Hey, man. Like I say, man, this shit is a city case, man. The city of Atlanta is indicting these boys are on Rico racketeering. It's not the feds. If this was the feds, I say see you niggas in forty years. Well, well, they got they got a list too that they put out though uh, of yeah. of um of who else they had in, in it, and it wasn't just you know them. Um, man, they had a lot of organizations on there, bro. And it's like the biggest part of it is is uh they had the the most recent attack from inside the city jail, uh, where they got Lucy at. Right. Nigga, the, the DA, the DA that's prosecuting this shit said that gangs in Atlanta are conservatively constituting for 75% of the crime. I was like, God yeah. damn. It's a lot of crime, nigga. That's it's a lot. It's a lot of flying. They didn't even flight, say nigga. how much crime, though boy. They didn't say the percentage, nigga. They said 75%. It's a lot. It's a lot. 70% of what? It's, it's a hot crime. It's a percentage. But it's a high percentage. Okay, it's a but, high percentage, nigga. Not when you think about who's doing the crime. Like, it's but if I but, but, and then but if I but if I tell you that there's crime and one group of people is doing seventy five percent of it, you'd be like, oh shit, that That's makes it, that, more sense than yeah, it makes more a sense. city of a bunch of um uh, uh avatars for Grand Theft Auto running around blowing shit. No, up I was just say, I was just saying that I was just saying that they're implying. That this group of people are constituting for a lot of crime. That's all I'm saying. It ain't right. <laughs> it's, the city. it's the city, man. Them boys gonna be free by goddamn Memorial Day weekend, man. Hey, <laughs> yeah. right, but I'm gonna tell you this though. It's 28 yeah, that man. got booked. Eight of them niggas. I think B. Lou is right though. B. Lou is right. Niggas telling, and that's what they banking on. They banking on eight of them niggas telling. That's why nobody got no bond. They're going to try to keep them in for the whole week or probably two weeks. 
to see which one of them niggas gonna rat. They're gonna need more than one to got them give real detailed information on Thug and Gunner. That's the niggas hey. they want. They want the celebrities. They don't they want gonna the make a, they gonna make a bunch of they gonna make a bunch of lemon pepper wet wings and they gonna blow the fan right down the hallway every night when they're cooking it. You know what I'm saying? They gonna have they gonna have they gonna have the re- they gonna have they gonna have the reflection of twerking. You gonna see the reflection of twerking, and they gonna be like, "I gotta get out of here." They gonna be like, "That's what you wanna know." That's what that's what they gonna do, man. And give a rundown. Lucci and uh, Thug been beefing since yeah. rival games because. Uh, Lucci, I mean, Thug Gang killed uh, Lucci, main leader. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that, that, that was that the They've been the beefing for a long time. It's a forever beef, it's an ongoing beef. And, you know, they just happen to be two of the popular niggas from that gang to blow up. So, they beef gonna always be really to the core because niggas die behind that. shit. But, can we let me ask y'all this? Lucci, though, who is Lucci? The nigga Why, is Lucci. Lucci. He actually got busted because he was shooting that goddamn thug and them people, and then thug and them people shot back, killed the nigga that was shooting in the car, and kicked him out the car, the door and pushed him out the car. And so let me ask y'all this. Let me ask whoa, y'all this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you mean? How they, yeah. they was in the car with him? They were shooting at him, and they was in the car, and the same car was in a limo. No, nah, there was in a, it was like, it was, it was, a, it actually was like a Benz or a goddamn, might have been a Rolls, nigga. And the nigga got hit. So, look, so, look, so Lucci and Thug Gang's been, like I said, they've been beefing for a long ass time. They're going, they, it's, it's, it's deep, bro. It's very, it's very deep. So, goddamn, Lucci and ongoing, man. They might have squashed this shit. They ain't gonna squash this shit, bro. He tried to get the nigga, bro. Come on, man, the man got the man killed, man. He tried to get the man killed. But anyway, they were shooting at each you other. Think, you don't think, you don't think for 16 boxes of cigarettes? <laughs> you know that's a man. <laughs> this here man. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go, oh, go give us, give us a rundown, B. Lou. You no, from, again, you from, you from, from Georgia. You got a little bit more. Go ahead. Now, bro. The reason why Lucci in jail now, they were shooting at rival gangs. The rival gang shot back, shot the nigga that was riding shotgun in Lucci car. They got down. Lucci pushed the nigga out. The nigga didn't survive. He died, and that was the one. That was the main straw. But then they've been beefing for a long time ever since they leader, uh, Lucha leader got killed. And they uh, said Young Thug, young, and Young good. Thug Baby Mom just got killed. And they yeah, said they had Young Thug Baby Mom just got killed outside the bowling alley. But uh, let me ask y'all this. I don't think that was affiliated, but it could be. Let me ask y'all this. Where are the, I think rappers should go back to being studio gangsters, man. It feels like too many rappers are getting caught up in real shit. We need rappers to just rap about this shit and not really do it no more. I, I want it. I want the return of the studio gangster. Who's man, that's me? soft as hell, man. Yeah, no, nah, that, that. <laughs> we need the return of the studio gangster. Billy Bates is like, 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 what the fuck? It's too many niggas going to jail, bro. It's too many niggas, man. Hey, hey go boy, go boy got a bill going to Senate to get the Mexican pizza back in Taco Bell. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Oh He's God, nigga! Oh, same thing, nigga. Facts. Yeah, nobody got a nobody got a bill on Capitol Hill about Taco Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, bring back the studio gangster, man. That's I'm bringing that back, man. Bring oh, the studio okay. gangster. And then everybody in the comment section, like, like let's go to the comment section right now. People saying B. Lou is a Rico case with 50 charge they booted from 2000, but it's city. <laughs> but it's city. There's <laughs> two different kind of outcome rates. It's city. And tell the motherfucker if the feds was doing this shit from 2015, his ass is gone. The feds haven't been doing this. They just taking over another nigga's sloppy paperwork. It's a lot of goddamn. Blue, no. Blue, it's a lot Blue of Blue case is federal. That's, that's why he in there. <laughs> <laughs> my case is federal. I know I'm going to go. They're going to off them 16. <laughs> Take the plea. And they're going to go to trial. They're going to go to trial. <laughs> When you in the ground, when you eat lunch, they give you two milks. So you they, go over there eating two milks. They in, the two chat, they in the chat talking while they push and plea. They push and plea. Yeah, they go, oh, push and plea. They just want some money. Hey, this is the same shit they used to do to Michael Jackson, man. They raid the nigga house, rip up Michael the Michael Jackson and never got hit with a Rico, Michael, nigga. Uh, listen, but listen, uh, Rico. listen. They used to do this to Mike Jack to get some money. They go in there, raid his house, rip up his shit. Mike go crazy, pay them boys three, four million. 
And they got them right. That was the city. The city of San Bernardino. Uh, San, it was uh, Santa Barbara. The city of Santa Barbara used to raid this nigga house when their funds was low. It's the same shit with the city. That's how the city works. So, uh, so, so, get the mud out of you. The city right, works. So, so, my nigga is three hundred so, 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 by, so by your rationale, this was just a shakedown from the city to get some money from Young Thug and Gun. Yes. Shut your right. ass up, nigga. Now you sound like Bukapon. Now hey. you sound like Bukapon. Hey, Doughboy looked like a bunch of bread that came together and made a continent. <laughs> what? Ooh, now we called Doughboy. Yeah, we could have been taller, but we decided to be fluffier. But so that's where the fun was at. We are a person now. We are. So, what do you do? We are so, a person now. Hey, look, hey, let's go back to the comment section. If y'all look at the paperwork, Young Thug is only charged with two out of the 56 goddamn charges. You only got to be indicted on one. He only got two <laughs> out of 56. Gunner only got one out of 56. They now, said that you he ran. They said. You think these niggas finna go to jail for that many years? I don't They said that the nigga rented an infinity that was involved in a murder. And you so, think yeah, and you they, think your thug going to budget? You think he going to budget talking that's about that? Let me get this uh infinity right here, bro. That's what he said that he did. Man, come on. Hey, listen, if, if Doug beat that murder, his music gonna be the best music in the world after this, dog. Facts. His Facts. music gonna be the best he music in the world. You know that you know that young thug was I'm not gonna hold you right. Um, at first, when Young Thug came in the industry, I didn't really mess with the songs, you know. But I must say, over the years and everything, his song really grew on me and everything. And I'm, I'm one of the biggest supporters. I wouldn't call myself a big fan, but I really enjoy his music. And I really think that he have a creative vibe to him that he don't have to really rap. It's more like a humming instrument what he do with his voices sometimes it's really entertaining i like that type type of thug you know it was like involved at shooting that little wayne a couple years ago right y'all yeah. do remember yeah. that right he wasn't That's involved man that was pee man you don't even know the it was shit, all over the blog that shit went to court nigga you niggas forgot you niggas forgot y'all forgot we forgot that shit went to court 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 that shit went Hey, okay. hey, okay. when Doughboy get to the drive through window and they know it's him, they relax and they don't be so nervous. <laughs> they be like, welcome to Taco Bell. He be like, it's Doe. Oh, whew. hey, Doe, what's going on? What you, going on today? what you need? Y'all give me a Mexican pizza. You know we don't handle it. I know, but you know how I like to do it. Steam me two tortillas. I put an I, L in my tortillas. I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna walk you. Through it. I'm gonna walk you through it. Put two, two, two tortillas on the grill. You ready? You ready? Taco Bell meat. You ready? You ready? Put the tortilla down. You ready? You ready? Sour cream. You ready? You ready? This nigga Steve P. Look at look at look at look at, look at, look at uh, Carolyn. Go ahead, Carolyn. Tell us some more, Carolyn. <laughs> come on, so, come on. So I, I, I can ask the question real quick on, on the Rocky case. Obviously, Rocky, ASAP Rocky. He, he, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Rocky, and I just want to know y'all opinion on that. He's another person that got caught up. Uh, apparently, there was a there was a shooting in November. Uh, they they raided his house. They they literally busted his door down uh, in L.A. Went in, went and raided the spot. Got guns. None of the guns were found though. The gun that was used was not found uh, in the, in his house. So y'all think he's clear? They, they got him on camera. I don't know what Doughboy boy is saying, but I think he should be all right, bro. I don't think there should be any problem with that situation. They were doing this shit. And you got the person. And they got him on camera shooting, and the person he was shooting at saying, he, he shot it. at me, he grazed me. So I don't know what else you need. I'm no, I'm no Johnny Cochran, rest in peace, but I, that sounds kind of, I don't know. It's just he didn't find a gun. But, but, they, so what if, but the if, thing but is, if, if I'm shooting is, at you, if I'm yeah, shooting at you on camera and you say Doughboy shot me, what else do we need to talk about? This is true. This is true. I was, I was curious. I was, I was curious about it. Again, I'm Rocky. I always say, you know, I will leave that this. Rocky with Braves and everything else like that. He could say that with somebody else. He could pull that trigger. He couldn't go that route with it. He could. And I look at it like this, though. 
Your boy was mad as hell. Like, man, it's a nice restaurant, but it ain't no cheesecake factory. For <laughs> <real>. <laughs> they got the best bread. They got the best bread, the brown bread there. What I mean, I was expecting something way different. I mean, it's a nice spot, but like, it ain't a cheesecake factory for real. <laughs> hey, um, not an actor factory. <laughs> so, fellas, hey, go ahead. No, I mean, we're pretty much at the end of the show at this point, y'all. We have set, we're pretty much at the end of it, so we can either. Go and do the outros from here and uh, go from there. Y'all want to do that? Yeah, man, let's do the outros, man. This has been another episode of Roast This. Last but not least, you already know how we hit you every week. We let you guys know where we're at so you can catch us live, meet and greet, run up on us, get the merch, shake our hands, and be more real fans than you guys think that you are. So with that being said, man, we're going to start with Dope Boy. Let the people know, man. What up, man? your boy, like, don't worry. Catch your ass up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can catch me this Wednesday, uh, the 11th, tomorrow, at the Ontario Improv with Ray Grady. Um, I'll be there. You can catch me Monday through Friday on my YouTube page, Morning Cup of Dough Morning Show, 6 to 8 a.m. Pacific Time. Yerp. There you go. Yeah. Rito Brown, let the people know, man. Yeah, Rito, go ahead, Rito. Go ahead, Rito. Hey, shit, uh... You can catch me if you on caffeine and you fuck with URL. You can catch me at the battles this weekend. I'll be at the uh, Live and Die in LA joint. B. Lou, you Damn. pulling up too? I, I'm, I'm in. I'm in Houston. I'm I want to pull it up. Oh, Dope Boy pull up. pulling up. Yeah, catch me and Dope Boy up there. We'll be up there this weekend yeah. at the event. Hey, shout out my nigga Rito too. A nigga was finna rob us one time. We was in North Hollywood, and this nigga Rito bit the gun in half. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> We got the fuck out of there. That was the fuck crunch. And we got the fuck on. We was running. He still had a piece of the Glock. And his mouth, he spit it out. A piece of the Glock. And we got to the crib, bro. I'll never forget that, man. My life was in the balance, man. All right, man. Matter of fact, why you talking, man? CP, let the people know, man. CP. I just feel like, here's the thing. I just want to thank everybody that listening to my voice because I had to learn how to talk again. Let everybody like, like a mumble, okay? And when I was born, my tongue died, okay? So I had to learn how to talk again with a mumble and broken tongue. Hey, okay? hey. This nigga Rito teeps up big. His voice bounced back down his throat when he talked. He's like, talk twice. Hey, 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 hey. He got reverb. Hey, you ain't hey, shit, hey, GP. Hey. hey. They, they got reverb. Hey! Go ahead, <laughs> hey, hey, talk to me in my AirPods, man. It's, it's, it's too much. Talk to me inside my head. Anyway, uh, anyway, um, I just feel like call it a regular restaurant that sells cheesecake. Don't call it a cheesecake factory because, like, nobody said we, we come here. You know, we we had it. We had, we, we brought our own forks. We did we, dope boy? We brought our own forks. Um. Anyway, uh, <laughs> CP, <laughs> CP podcast uh, comes drops tomorrow. On uh on YouTube, man. I appreciate all the love and support on that. Uh I'm on the road this weekend, man. I'm in uh North Carolina. I'm in Greensboro, North Carolina at the Greensboro Comedy Zone. Uh me, uh Reg Thomas and Reggie Jr. We coming down there, man. It's gonna be a crazy show. And uh what else, man? Reggie Reggie Jr. Comedy. Reggie Jr. Comedy. Huh? Reggie Jr. Comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga with the voice like that, man. You know my nigga. And then uh oh, wait, 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 the one that was on Roast Me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then uh and then also uh crack 'em up, man. This Thursday, uh crack 'em up is popping. Um, you know, we got two shows. So the first one, I'm doing time on the second one, I'm hosting. They start at eight o'clock, we're going from eight until uh and then my show at Los Globos is next Tuesday, uh the seventeenth, man. We all over the place. So yeah, mm-hmm. y'all know what it is, man. Yeah. Right. Uh Billy, Billow, let the people know, man. Billow. Hey, man, make sure you check me out on another episode of Roast Me. Check out uh, any one of my nine stand specials and my sketches over there on YouTube. YouTube.com backslash Billy Sorrells and iTunes below. Oh. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, man, B. Lou, man, follow each and every individual on this platform on Caffeine. I am Big Bang Lewis. That's Rito Brown at I am Doughboy at Billy Sorrells at Comedian CP. Follow us on this platform right now while you're watching, man. Don't hesitate. It's simple. Just click the follow button. Share this podcast so we can keep getting bigger and just got them getting to every person's home. You can see me this weekend in Houston. I'm in H-Town. I'm at the Houston Improv this Thursday through Sunday. Uh, I'll be featuring for comedian Atheon Crockett. So if you're in the H, pull up on me, man. 
uh get some merch i will have the merchandise out there man buy some man shake some take some make some uh and make sure you follow us and uh tune in every tuesday right here on caffeine roast this on the all death platform i'm billy surrounds i mean that's billy surrounds i ain't <laughs> I know you, man. What? <laughs> Billy Surrounds. Roast me tomorrow, y'all. Roast me live tomorrow as Roast well. Roast me tomorrow, bro. I ain't Billy Surrounds, <laughs> but goddamn, Billy, you look like an Asian nigga that's in the, uh, that just came to America. You got your headphones on. You like, what is this? Could this be Kareem? Look at that. <laughs> All right, peace out. Could this be Kareem? Y'all have to straighten there. Y'all, y'all have to. Episode of roast best. My thoughts of this video is that you know the episode was okay. I really enjoyed the insight of the situation with Ke with Kevin Samuels because you know a lot of people have their opinion about him and uh, him as a person. What he did is within the short period of time with talking about women and even men at the time you know my opinion is that he is dead we cannot do anything to bring him back to life although persons is going to have an opinion of him we cannot really control that so the good thing about it is you just learn to just the thing is if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it at all that that's the way I, I have it, you know. Sometimes you may have persons that will get on your skin and irritate you, but you gotta really, really understand that hey, anything you say and do in this day and age could be traced back to you and it could affect you in the long run. So just be mindful of putting things out there that you don't wanna affect you in the long run if you have a business or if you're doing something like media or even a politician or whatever just be mindful he's dead now so don't really do anything crazy to put anything negative to your social media but um my thoughts on the chris paul situation oh man uh, recently there, there's been a lot of back and forth with fans doing crazy things to get attention running on the court doing things for social media recently it's been happening more as of late I really think the NBA needs to do something with court side because the fans within all the sports in the America and the US the basketball the fans are the closest to get to the court I think they really need to put bars where even the cameraman is because when NBA players fall the cameraman and persons and cheerleaders are so close to the cart that, that if they fall on them, they could get hurt. So I do think that the NBA needs to do something with putting something up to protect the players and the fans. Yes, the fans can be able to hear, record and do stuff. Yes, they can. But I just think we need to protect our players because... There have been so many situations where the fans have been doing so many things. That's just my opinion though. But um, wonderful video. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, this is your boy Steph Biak. And I'm out of here. Peace.